Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a swatch and a review of the Insight Cosmetics Blusher. Now they have come out with six shades. I have all the six of them with me. As always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names and for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to me so notified whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right into the video. Alright, so let's quickly go over with the features of these blushes. Now, it says that it is a highly pigmented cream blush with a natural dewy finish, enriched with vitamin E that nourishes and moisturizes your cheeks. Lightweight, buildable formula blends easily and effortlessly. Can be worn alone or layered for a more custom color. Gives a natural looking blush to your cheeks and it is available in six sheer shades. Now these are priced at 75 rupees for 3.5 grams of product and I picked mine off of Nykaa. So this is how the packaging looks like which is see-through so you can see the shade and at the back you have the shade name and number. And this is how the actual blush looks like. Alright, so let's quickly go over the formula, the pros and the cons. Now, firstly, these are quite pigmented. Now, even the lightest shade out of all the six shades that I have, 
I was not expecting it to show up on my skin tone but surprisingly it did and it looked pretty good even on my medium skin tone so that is a great thing and also a little goes a long way with these blushes. Now these are creamy and they do set pretty quickly so you have to work pretty quick to blend these and I would personally suggest using like a brush to blend these on your skin because it works like a charm unlike the wet sponge because that kind of sheared the product out a lot and it took a longer time for me to blend them on my cheeks. Oh and obviously your fingers will work great to blend these blushes as well. Hello and I just want to quickly add uh, three quick points that I had noticed while applying on bare skin. The first thing is that they do blend extremely easily on my bare skin. Like it was cut down to half the time of how long it takes to blend on uh, my skin with makeup on. I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, it blends up pretty easily on bare skin. The second point is that they do last like about three to four hours. That's it. And then it kind of disappeared. I was wearing a mask because I am coughing right now. So that could be another thing. But on my oily skin, it lasted like about max four hours. The last point is that on your bare skin, when you are blending them, it does sheer the color out quite a bit. However, I would suggest going a little at a time so that it can build up accordingly because these are easily buildable. But yeah, it does sheer it down. For example, is the first shade, Soft Salmon. So with makeup on, it seemed a bit more vibrant than compared to on bare skin. That is without any makeup. And that's it. <laughs> now when you're blending these blushes, it does not disrupt your makeup underneath. Like in a swatch, I was on and on blending it quite a bit, but my foundation did not move or budge or anything of that sort, which is great. Now once it's settled down, it does look kind of matte in person for me right now, but it does give a nice sort of a glow. It does not have any shimmer or glitter particles. It's purely a matte cream product, but it gives a nice shine to the skin, which I like. And also right now I have been wearing it for the last, I think four to five hours now. I've brought it my face once, but it still looks good. Like you can still see the color as it is, which is great. Lastly, these are quite buildable. Like in the swatches you would have seen, I added a little bit more of the product and they blended and looked like a charm. Now coming to FYI, there's just one quick point and that is that it has a slight smell to it. It is not overpowering. it's not strong or anything as such. Only when you bring it like this close to your nose is when you can like smell it. Otherwise, it doesn't smell at all. Even when you're applying it, blending it, using it, it doesn't smell. Now coming to the cons, there are just two points. The first point is that there are no swatches available online. This is the same case for a lot of my reviews that there are no swatches or any arm swatch available online. They just have this computer generated kind of a swatch, which I will insert here. And uh, that is about it. And coming to the second con is something like a personal opinion. It could not be like a con for you, but for me it is. And that is to do with the packaging. I'm usually not a fan of any sort of product where you have to put your finger in and scoop the product up. Maybe the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, this one or any other makeup or skincare product where you have to use your fingers. I'm not such a huge fan. I rather personally prefer like a tube or a doe foot applicator where you go boop, boop, blend and you're good to go. So yeah, this is again personal opinion. It's not a big deal breaker. So yeah, that's that. Oh, and obviously you can use a, like a fresh sponge or a clean brush to take the product out. But yeah, I'm a lazy person. Oh yeah, lastly, this is not a con or anything. So if I have any reaction, a breakout, or if my product has become moldy or something of that sort, I will add it in the comments down below and pin it just in case if that happens now or later. So yeah, I will let you guys know about it. So far, so good. So overall, in my personal opinion, I do love these blushes because they are so cost effective. It's only 75 rupees and the formula is great. The pigmentation is awesome. I mean, the shades, which is only six, but still it's a decent shade range, like from fair to even darker skin tone, it will suit you. So I do like that as well. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Inside Cosmetics blusher and this wrap today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to me, certified whenever I upload, as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try my best for you, as well as follow me on my socials, which are on Instagram and Shanair on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.